Power Inspect utilizes temperature compensation to compensate for the expansion of various materials when measured at different temperatures. This is particularly useful for batch measurement at different temperatures. We're going to start today by measuring our item at one temperature and coming back and measuring it at a different temperature. We start by selecting our part compensation and specifying the material we are working with. In this case, aluminium, which has its own thermal coefficient of expansion. Should the user also wish to automatically measure the amber in temperature with the measuring device, they can then tick the appropriate box. We then set up a geometric group, which comprises of a plane and two circles. We want to define a line between the two centers of the circle to determine the distance. We now set our temperature to one degree and go ahead and measure the part live. After we've measured the part, we're going to wait for a couple of hours and come back at a different room temperature. We create a new measure after seeing the distance of the line and we can play that individual geometric grouping with our new measure. Now, new in 2015R2, the user is automatically prompted to enter in the new temperature for the part being measured. In this case, 65 degrees is our current ambient room temperature. We're going to enter that and click on OK to continue. We'll then go ahead and measure the part live. From the measured values we can see our nominal and our measured values differ by means of a deviation. What we can also see here is we can see the nominal and measured dimension for the line. The measured value has been automatically compensated relative to the temperature. To summarize the new features of PowerInspect 2015R2 by asking the user to specify temperature for an unmeasured part can only be valid if the checkbox in the part compensation is unchecked alongside the material configuration dialog and finally the play all item is selected before measuring.